There can be no victory. The darkness always returns. Legends tell that these words were spoken by Sigmar, the first emperor. Some believe he had a vision of what was to come. But Sigmar uttered truth, not prophecy. The darkness always returns. Always. When the Skaven conquered Ubersreich, the flame of defiance guttered. The Reichland should have been lost, but heroes arose and the vermin tide was repelled. Desperate for revenge, the Ratmen struck a pact with the barbarians of the Chaos Wastes, the worshippers of the Dark Gods. Once again, the Reichland stands upon the brink. Once again, heroes are needed. And yet, in the very hour of victory, the saviors of Ubersreich were taken, seized by the treacherous foe. With every dawn, hope fades. After all, if the greatest can fall into darkness, what chance can there be for those who remain? Oh, I have control. Hey. So I finally got a copy, finally, of Vermintide. I can check it out. I don't know why now. <laughs> like, a year later, like, hey, you want some- here's a code. Okay, I'll play it. <laughs> why not? Hey, here we go. I don't know much about Warhammer or Warhammer 40k necessarily, but I think my favorite element of either universe is the Skaven. You don't need that one anymore, mate. There's this kind of silly antagonistic force that has this funny speech pattern. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Oh, he died hard. <laughs> For those that I haven't seen them, these are like, these are like vaguely Left 4 Dead-like games. Two, a four-player squad co-oping through hordes of enemies with some special uh, enemies. I almost said special infected. That have a tendency to incapacitate people. Now go, find the others. I have work to do. 
Alicia! Hello? Right then. The skitter gate. <laughs> uh, pressing two does not seem to pull out a uh, bow like you might think, based on the fact that there's a two down there. Hey there, you're dead. And you're dead. Yeah, they're about as threatening as individual zombies in Left 4 Dead, apparently. Cool, just the pit full of people like me. That guy looks like he might even be my character model. Nope. Whoop. Ah. Whoop. Who are you? Oh, right. You're the. You must be the the barbarian group they were talking about. Yeah, come and get me. Yeah. Try again. Oh, hey. Oh, way bigger weapon. Uh, space bar is dodge? How is that a dodge? Oh, there we go. Oh, there it goes. I did a jump the first time, but there is a dodge. What, you have to be holding down A already. And then you do a little dash. This guy's really screwed then. Alright. Got some combat options for this melee system. That's a lot of them. A lot of naked rats. Ow. Ow. God damn. Ah. Hold mouse left. There we go. I was trying to pull it off. I, th I think I was taking hits though. Their heads explode off. Like, God damn. Interesting choice on your part opening the door back up. Let's see if it pays off. It's an interesting strategy. How do I save the dwarf? I need, I need extra dwarf in my party. I gotta figure out how to get him out of there. He's having a swell time. Oh, hi. And... Special ability. Whoa! That was neat. Ow. We've got like centurion helms or something. Or that one does. Oh. There we go. I'm actually taking damage. I'm kind of in trouble. Could use some allies. Just gotta figure out how to make them uh, be on my team. A lot of Left 4 Dead elements going on here, like the heavily silhouetted stuff. The fact that your allies can be seen silhouetted through infinite numbers of walls, and the fact that there's like, there's, like a symbol above them. The emphasis on co-op largely maintained via a series of, uh, the fact that you're, you're, the enemies can incapacitate you and you can't fight them off when you're in that state, so you need your allies. Which is why you need all these people on your team. Because people need to bail you out and you need to bail other people out or you will all die. I remember a Left 4 Dead experience early in our video series where Andrew was refusing to help or stick with the group and we kept dying because it's kind of the basics of how the game works. <laughs> They're very vulnerable to arrows. Ow. Okay, let's switch back. There we go. Gotcha. Takes a bit more thought when it's melee. As a ranged character, you can kind of figure things out. I'm just thinking of like in, in, uh, in Left 4 Dead, all the ranged attacks, obviously. Take a little less thought. In this game, you gotta think about wh which one you want to use, melee or ranged. Open up with uh, ranged attacks probably, then switch to melee as more guys uh, get within melee range. And ranged starts being less effective as a result. 
Armory, armored enemies cannot be damaged by certain attacks. Shield icon indicates that no damage can be dealt or has been dealt. Target weak spots or use armor piercing weapons. How about bow? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, Q is change weapon. Oh, that's a charge weapon. My bad. I'm like, you charge your bow by switching to a hammer? Weird. <laughs> that guy just went down like Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The second one, I guess. Secret of the Ooze. He's a super shredder. Can I climb that? That's probably a source of rats. They can all come in through there. He's really not unplussed about this whole situation. How are they getting the rope to have zero slack? I'm working on it, damn it. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's not in a good spot, is he? I need to pick him up. Arden Gorkson. I'm grateful, bugger, in you. Is that bandages over there? I'll fetch them. Have to patch you up. Second your sweet time, aren't you? That did the trick. Thanks, Zumbi. Now, try that lever over there by the gate. Will do. Let's find the others. I think they even used the same control scheme. Left click to apply to self, right click to ap apply to an ally. Oh, these ropes are... Oh, that's a weird collision. Huh. They're all glowing green. Curious. Alright, I've got an ally to cover my ass now. I'm not just completely on my own now. He's so tiny. Hello. Everyone's gotta look massive when you play as that character. Assuming the camera adjusts its height. Is there a friendly fire? Let's not find out the hard way. Ooh. I saw ally for a second there. Somebody else is waiting around the corner. Whoop. Alright, that one's really big. That you were imagining things? Ooh, bombs. That's fun. Oh, I just wasted it. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna pick things up and accidentally pressed F. That uses up my power. Oh, it recharges on its own. Okay. So it's just a cooldown, apparently. I thought it was going to be based on how much I've fought certain things or something. Uh, is this a healing potion? Can I... Yeah. There we go. Let's try throwing a bomb. Fun. <laughs> Let's try shooting this bomb. That's going to just... Don't, don't get blown up, please. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of fire. Whoa, I wish I'd shot that first. That's nice to look at. Neat. Oh, familiar sounds, mates. Vermin of Ilford. Hi, good. And in the case of anyone's ever, in case anyone's wondering, I have not played Vermintide One either. This is my first experience with the franchise. This is a really cool opener. Definitely like a tutorialized linear like starting thing. So hey, we got all four people now. Got the full party. Uh, you're in bad shape. I don't have a healing item to give you though, do I? Uh, what's this? That's gotta be for mana or something, right? Give? You're a spellcaster. Here you go. I just gave it to that character. 
Why did... When I gave it to them, though, it showed the dwarf's icon, didn't it? Even though I gave it to you? It's a little weird. What's this? Uh... Ooh. Protective presence. Aura that reduces damage taken by 15%. I've got an aura. Cool. Uh, inventory? Uh, oh well, it's purple. It probably refills my, uh, my ability so I can use it again. The rat people made a portal, the portal they called the Skitter Gate. That's great. Let's just burn that whole area. I'm a bad team. Well, I'm not, I can't be that bad of a teammate because you guys aren't people. I can't talk to you and warn you. The way I would a person... Oh, God. Oh, that guy's got no head. He's fine. Or, well, I'm fine. Because like, he's got no head. <laughs> oh, you can charge it up. Look at that. I hear this really good... It's really easy to hold down a bow charge for a very long time. It definitely doesn't destroy your arm. Oh. Oh wait, that's just a zoom. That's not a... Letting go of it doesn't release the arrow. For some reason. I see you guys up there. Do I have to, do I have to ang angle it? Oh, he's mad. He's not happy about what I just did. I would love to spot a bomb and shoot it at a distance. Just preemptively ruining some people. It's a pretty game. What was that? Oh. Potion of Concentration Incendiary Bomb. They take up the same slot? Oh. Uh. Hey, you. How do I... Give... I want you to have it. No? Oh, it's a Potion of Strength. Oh, it's like showing the wrong... That's the incendiary bomb. It's like showing the tooltip for the wrong item. Weirdly. Huh. Oh, well. I can't carry all these things at once. Where's the... Where's this guy yelling from? I like his voice actor. He's like this cartoonish villain. Got a healer. Oh, I hear things coming. Oh, things are coming. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that was a bad miss. Alright. Good job, me. Where'd the bomb go? Oh, well. Yay, explosions. Needless explosions. Also, I'm definitely pressing R to reload, even though this is a bow. <laughs> ah! Such fun we have. Can somebody come attack us now that I am prepared for you? Pretty please? No big re no reason in particular, I just want to... You know, it'll, it's safe, I'm sure. It's just a... I just really want to blow up this barrel at you. Let's bring the barrel with me. Everyone on here? We're good. For us, then. That's not. That's not Remember, good. Not clear yet, mates. Find that portal and salt <laughs> fire. Are we seriously about to hop into some magic moonjack, expecting to come out in one piece? 
I'm going up the elevator while a bunch of rats are climbing the walls at almost the same speed is a pretty cool visual. What is this? Real? I mean, look at this! Tom, Sigma, save us! I've seen nothing of its like. Not even close. The power to cause such destruction. Simply terrifying. No dawdling or gawking. This is good that you all made it out. Ah, it's good to see you too, Cricky. Accepting, you know. Look at his goddamn hat. It's amazing. Escape through the Bridge of Shadows. Escaped. I think I like this game. <laughs> Temporary health is displayed white on your health bar. Oh, yeah. I think I'm familiar. And now I've got choices of five different characters. Oh, yeah, he was the last one. So the guy we just saw is also an option. And ultimately, we get 15 characters instead of just... The, so you get... Yeah, I think you have four-person parties in this game. But you have 15 characters to pick from ultimately. Are they iterations of the same person? Or... Like, I don't know if he gets, if he like prestiges into some stronger version of himself, or if these are three different individuals. Uh. Oh, they're builds. Cause it still says Carillion. Like that's Marcus Kruber. This is him in Huntsman mode. Neat. And then Foot Knight. Okay, so you can play as particular characters, and the characters have their own voice actor and performance and everything, but you can have three different classes or builds for each one. What well, going on here? Unlocked at level 7. Oh, look at him! God damn. <laughs> it's Carillion. Enchant for spear mode. There it goes. And you got Victor Saltspire. So he's the guy that saved us. Is he using a rapier? Kind of, yeah. Bounty hunter mode. That's a fair change of appearance. Zealot. Whoa, okay. You kind of went off the edge, dude. Huh. Battle wizard seeing a hard name. I have questions. Oh, that one uses blood magic. Uh, she... Escalated a bit. Am I to think that because they have these torches everywhere, that, that a fire mage needs to have fire handy in order to cast fire spells? I'm kind of thinking that's what the case is. That they're covered in fire, but like they need to use a fire source to conjure their fire, because... This for like these different modes, each one has uh, candles and torches everywhere in their costume. And I'd like to think that that is you like serves a utility and isn't just like for funsies or something. Let's see. After not casting spells for six seconds, automatically ventilates overcharge. Firewalk. Sienna teleports forward, leaving a blanket of fire in her wake that lingers for six seconds. Neat. Reckless hate. Overcharge increases spell charge speed by up to thirty percent. High romantic surge, increase range damage by 10%. Let's try let's try you out. Let's try a different character. Well, we're on the main menu now. Play. I just hit play and it just started. Yeah. Welcome to our keep. Not as homely as the red moon, perhaps, but safe, secure, and sturdier than it was. Most important. It's ideal as a secret base from which to wage a war of resistance. Or rather, Alicia has made one. The portal she opened will bring you here this powerful Orgu map. The Bridge of Shadows. It's what we'll use to get you people to where you need to be. A lot quicker than our old car, I tell you. So take a look around them. When ready, have a gander at the map. It's always good to do. I imagine that this character is fun. So they said that I expel something. 
They must be talking about that fire meter that's happening in the middle of my screen, right? Like I can charge up this ball and then launch it at people and it creates an explosion. What about F? All right, that's the teleport, right? Yeah, oh shit. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time left, so I just wanted to at least demo another class and get, get a glimpse of what, how different they might be. This is Vermintide 2. It's a neat, seems like a neat game. Oakry's Challenges. Uh, oh, it's a achievement system. Daily, weekly, and events. Huh. Is there a reward for dailies? Complete the, oh yeah, these are really standard dailies. Like, do really basic actions three times. Just play a bit each day to get a loot box. The Hearthstone system, basically. What kind of stuff do I have access to? Ooh. Right. Because it's largely an online thing, so... You can basically just customize the thing here. What so what missions do I have access to? Like none of them? Oh, that's down downloadable content. Oh. Rashknit schemes and save and battle to guard. That's a lot of missions. Damn. How much DLC is there? Oh shit, it goes to the store. Alright, I can't just look at the layout first. Which is what I wanted to take a look at. The Bridge of Shadows. That's what, so that's how I got here, canonically. That's how we escaped. Who are you? Pirate Granny's a badass. Look at her. Oh, and I can pick one of these to take with me, I guess? Oh, speed. I thought that would be energy. I guess there is no monometer in this game, so... Shouldn't be that surprised. Can I talk to you? Battle Granny, talk to me. Oh, hey. That was an accident. <laughs> Alright, I have I can I have a I have time to at least like start a mission or something. Custom game. Let's do the first one. I have I have a few choices here actually. Against the grain, Athel Yen Liu in a righteous stand. Listen, Alicia's got a good shot at gaining some proper information about Skittergate. She's going into Helmgart, and so are you. Difference is, she'll be sneaky, and you'll be loud. Provided distraction by ringing the bells at the Temple of Sigmar. Let's allow the old woman to work in peace, eh? Oh, it's gonna be the lady from the other room. Neat. Difficulty? I mean, if that's what you recommend. If it's anything, if it's anything like, uh... Let's do host game. If it's anything like, uh... Left for dead, even the easy difficulty is kind of hard at first until you get the everything figured out, more or less. Let's go. I need a distraction, and you're just the fellows to make it for me. Ring out them bells, as me mother used to say. The bells in question are in Elmgart's Temple of Sigmar. Give them a good clatter, and you'll draw every iron blade for miles around. Why, you ask? Our friendly neighborhood magic spy, Alicia, needs to gather vital intelligence on the Skitter Gate. Figure you could help her out. And die. He's dead. I beat him. Rats! I'm doing my part. Would you like to know more? <laughs> oh, am I gonna die if that fills up? Let's see. I am on fire. I actually died. I was wondering about that. Yeah, there's like a skull meter and everything. So you, so you get punished for overcasting. Interesting. That's probably the thing you have to wait six seconds to not die of. Thankfully, I've got one of these guys. Kudos if you understood the reference. Ah, they seem friendly. How you doing? 
Doing good? There we go. They didn't even react. Hey, you. You're supposed to fight us. Fight us better. Oh, he's not... That's not going well for him. Oh, poor guy. Hey, explosion. Yes. Burn, burn, burn. I get... They probably couldn't come after us because we were upstairs, right? They were trapped. Ooh. I just hit F. I've got some real red hot moves, darlings. I hit F on accident, so I teleported in place. Whoops. Follow me. Enough games have swapped F and E as the interact button that I'm just continually mixed up now. I hope these guys are actually enemies or this is embarrassing because I am just making a fool of myself and attacking people then. I don't know if they look like enemies. Look at this guy. Yeah, these guys seem like enemies. Burn him! Burn him! Is he even vulnerable to attacks? How's this work? Oh, we, we got him. Or the elf got him at least. Uh, he's not going so well. You alright, buddy? Cool sword, bro. Too pity about the the dead part. Wow, I got yeah, he, he must have been the one I burned. Hey, how you doing? Oh, he's dead already. Yeah, he's totally screwed. <laughs> I hear, but I do not see. Oh, there he is. Ooh, what was that? Definitely thought that was a giant, not a statue for a second there. Chemical thrower rat. Whoa! 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 What's happening? Oh, it's the poop soldiers. They're here. I don't like that. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Yep, there's the special infected. And he's down. Bit showy, but it did the job. Uh, anyone need a heal? We're doing mostly okay. That's a lot of bad guys. Let's try to do explosions over there, deal with the sheer number of dudes. I'm doing my part. I don't have ammo to replenish. I just have fire. I didn't see what happened to the chemical thrower guy, but that guy seemed neat. An unbarred fortress is Giant blaring neon fire. Striking visual. You have this now. Oh, did I take something else from you? Oh, they picked him up. Gas rat. They, they must have... Close. Oh, gas rat? Somewhere joy. close. Did we not kill it? We didn't. Get it. Oh, that's a different rat. Oh, it's another variation of rat. This one has like a canister of gas that throws at us. Ooh. I like the special infected designs. So many fine young men. No dancing for any of them. Not now. I think basically the takeaway is just that rat rat soldiers with chemical weapons are just kind of a cool aesthetic. It's like somewhere vaguely like it's not steampunk, but it's like on the way there. It's like it's pointing in that direction. Let's drink one of these. There we go. You just go ahead and die. And you get to die. And you get this is a really precise fireball weapon. Just, just pile them up for me. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. You guys, didn't, you, they don't have. I guess the, the enemies are deaf in this game, or at least on this difficulty, they're not exactly swarming in response to all the other stuff I'm doing. 
I think she's reacting to the fact that I'm starting to overcharge the flame, which starts to become a problem eventually. I'll try to do this. Survive until the gate opens. Uh, oh, am I not actively doing it? Oh, I was sitting here holding down E thinking that I was doing it. I gotta wait. Okay, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of guys. Get him in the horde? Yeah. Oh. Alright. Just leave some fire behind. Oh, no. Chemical thrower rat. Bad time. Oh, we got him. Oh, okay. Sword time. Sword, sword, sword. Get off me. Too many bads. Too many bads. Let's drink a, a not bad. Ooh. Ooh, bad. All right. Unfortunate for you. There's chunks coming off of them. Ow. Oh, God. Wow, that could be, they're aggressive. This character's better at swordplay than I expected. Effectiveness was not predicted. What is that doing? I guess it's weighted down to lock it in place if you stop turning it. Although, what was turning it? I'm curious about that. How do I get your dental plan? Oh. Oh, they got him. Yeah, kind of like the Left 4 Dead director. It seems the special infected just kind of spawn in on a timer here and there. Like they'll just kind of shrink, they'll just kind of like sneak their way into the middle of a scenario. Yep, they're, yep, yep. The longer you linger, the more guys like that just show up. Two of them. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye. See you later, cool flame dude. This game is neat. Alright guys, this is Vermintide 2. Check it out, via the link in the description if you'd like to play it yourself. Thanks for the developers sending me a code and all that. It's a neato game. See you guys next time. He's dead. Chemical Rat Guy is dead.